Hello. It is me, Ribbon Flower. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I have had a couple of people say, please, 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 will you please give us an update on your garden and how it's going? So this is the April 2020 video of the garden. Welcome, Raven Flowers Garden. We have done some extensive work. We have, we, I should say we, should not say we, I should say bear. Bear, the hubby has cleared all of this stuff out. He has put down this like mat stuff so that the weeds won't come up and then we're going to be filling it with like pea gravel or something like that or maybe wood chips or something but at least it will be easier to walk on and you're not needing a machete to go around and get through. If you recall last year we had, let's start from the beginning, start from the beginning Raven. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Outside of the garden, there's the gate. Hello, mermaid. Inside of the garden, my, I've moved my little like makeshift greenhouse over here so that I can do starters and ho hold my stuff without getting craziness. All right, we have the peach tree, which is starting to bloom. You can't see it right here very well because it is what it is. We've got neighbors in the background arguing and fussing at their kids, but don't mind them. They're fine. On the right, when you come into the garden, we had something called Herb Corner. Last year, it's still sort of herb corner, but we've tried something new this year. I've moved um, some of the basil out, and it's going to be actually over here and all around. And then I'm going to have another tub that's going to be basil-y, and I'm probably going to have it up on the porch where we have it over there. Here, we have planted Anamame, which is not doing well. So, I've got to bring my magic game to this Anamame, and I probably need to start some seedlings inside, and then we will take it from there. So, we may... I'm waiting for these things to sprout. I'm hoping that it works. I've fertilized. I've done everything it is that I need to do, except for adding some stones to it, which I think some tiger's eye and some quartz would really go a long way with this. We have a blueberry bush over here that is going to do its stuff. Parsley has made it all the way through winter and um, from last spring to now. And it's just this awesome big bushel. I'm going to be planting um, various herbs in these little pots. I've got sunflowers and a very big weed that i got to get out of here. But I've got some sunflowers and some other stuff getting ready to come up. This is a big sunflower here. A little bit of stra strawberry. <laughs> what? Siggy wants you to know. Uh huh. She loves you and misses you. Okay. I... It's about to get dark. Okay, I'm trying to video. Thanks. <laughs> um, so, um, this is the bay leaf tree that I have, and I'm, this is kind of a prized possession for me. And it, when we were looking at the house and saw that this was already here, I was like, yes! Very excited. So, bay leaf. I will be doing some trimmings here soon. And as you can see from the very top of the bay leaf, there are little buds up up on there. So there's going to have some fancy fullness. So I will be doing some trimmings of that and also doing some bundles and drying and all that other stuff. So bay leaf will be available at Ravenflower Designs as well as the lemon balm. Can I just, can we just talk? This is my hand. And that's my lemon balm. <laughs> this lemon balm is out of flipping control. <sighs> it is what it is. Here is more sunflowers coming up and some other random stuff that I don't remember what I planted. So I've... <laughs> mystery. Mystery bed. This is raspberries. We move on down here. And if you remember, last year we had tomatoes that went like super, super tall and way over into the thing. So we've changed it up. We now have tomatoes over here so that I can move them closer to the fence and hopefully things will be better. So I have some shallots in the background and I've got some tomatoes here and I have a Luna in the... Hey, Luna, you get out of my garden, miss. Hey, booty butt, off you go. Have a nice walk. You walk. Tongue is out. Paws are dirty. <laughs> There they go. See you later, friends. <laughs> okay, back to the garden. So we've got tomatoes. We've got some cherry tomatoes here. 
Then we've got a large, like, oh, not really large. Those are Romas. And then I've got another little cherry tomato there. Bear planted those. He was very kind to do so. Over here is going to be zucchinis. If you remember, they were in this bed last year, and we couldn't get past. So this way, I put it on towards the end of the garden, so that way I can round the corner this way and go to Herb Island, which is another herby area, where I have chives, I've got rosemary, beautiful rosemary that's all blooming out right now, looking great and smells amazing. Another thing that will always be available at Raven Flower Designs is the rosemary. Then, down over here, so I went around the island, we say hello to the bear. So there is... There's the view from the other side of Herb Island. We've This is where the zucchini will be. Those over there are the tomatoes and the shallots. I have a, another blueberry bush right here. More lemon balm back there. I have an olive tree here, which needs some, probably help with some staking because it's moved around so much that it just needs some help, so the winds and all that stuff. We just need to probably anchor it a little bit better. Back here, we have artichoke. We have big, huge artichokes that are about to burst. Here, there they are, little babies. They're ready to go. I don't, mystery weed, I don't know. And then over here, that's getting ready to spout. See, one little spouter is alum, which is the great big, huge um, stalks with the big purple ball on it. So I'm very excited about this bed. And then check out the cherry tree, you guys. Look at all those blooms. Woo, woo, woo. Beautiful blooms. I love it. Let's go closer. Cherry blossoms, beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. This is a... I want to say bean cherry. Yep, it's a bean cherry tree. I have moved the artichokes from here because they weren't doing very well. There was just that one stalk and then it came off. And so I planted the um, base of it and now little babies are growing out the side of it. So I'm very excited about that. And then there's one, oh, there's one right there. Artichoke coming up. Very excited. I love an artichoke. Artichoke is in the thistle family. And if you recall from my tattoo, my tattoo, thistles, thistles. Okay, so artichokes were here. I moved it and I made this strawberry bin. We have these other strawberries that were actually starting to mold in the, in the fridge. I took them out and I planted them here because um, sometimes those little seeds and whatnot will sprout new plants. So I wanted to see how that will go. So there's that. Then over here also in the weeds, and I also have a weed to show you that grows naturally here that I have also harvested. This is a lemonade, lemonade blueberry, pink lemonade blueberry bush. So that's going to do some stuff. And then I wanted to pay close attention to this little guy. This right here that I'm talking about. This right here is something called purple dead nettle. And it is a wild you know, bushel that grows around here and uh, does really well. And it actually has a lot of medicinal properties. So I will probably be doing a video just on that because I have forgotten and I need to get back into the habit. There was also another request from a couple of people that says, hey, can you do kind of like an herb 101 with everybody and talk about medicinal properties as well as magical properties for some of the herbs and stuff that you grow in your garden. So I'm going to do that. We're going to talk about purple dead nettle. We're going to talk about obviously rosemary. We're going to talk about chives, which those are getting ready to bloom and they're going to be great. Continuing on, we have our apple tree here. And soon there's going to be beautiful little apple blossoms all over this. Let me get over here so I can show you. Little apple blossom. So that's our little apple tree. And this has three different kinds of apples that have been grafted together. And I can't even say these. I think I tried to do this last time. Liberty apple. We have honey crisp. And then 
the one that I can never pronounce. Gravestein? Gravestein? Whatever. That. That's happening there. All right. When we talked about Herb Island, what else? Okay. The middle section. <coughs> Please excuse me. <coughs> this is Kale Corner. We got all kinds of kale. This is kale that has been chopped from last year because uh, it got real super tall and out of control. It was a little mess, but um, this was a new little plant. These are little baby kales coming up. So this is just going to be filled with kale. I've got lots of neighbors that love the kale. I am not a kale fan. However, um, I see the importance of it. I'm not thrilled about it, but you know, it is what it is. You know, you eat your vegetables sometimes because they're good for you and not because you like the way they taste. And that's how I feel about kale. But I have at least one, two, three, four, maybe five kinds of kale in here. This is big garlic. And when we first moved in, these beds, if you recall, were falling apart and were like really down and there was just a little thing of rocks. That's how it was over here. And so Bear built these and we have seen that with the moisture and whatnot, it needs, these need clamps on them or he's going to take the side of it off and turn it around. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to do something. But anyhow, we've taken the dirt and everything that was in here. There were asparagus. Asparagus is very difficult to grow. If any of those gardeners are out there, you will know what I'm talking about. It takes at least three years for asparagus um, vegetable to even grow um, or to start to mature so that you can actually harvest it and eat it. So it started last year and it was beautiful and then this year we hadn't seen any evidence of it so we we're like oh please please asparagus come back and wouldn't you know here they come aren't they cute so here comes another little one out the gate and then we've got like three of them over here and they're doing good so i'm very excited about that so there is a little tidbit of the garden bear is back from his walk oh are you still go are you going the other way now Oh, he's not back from his walk, but I'm still amending this because it's getting, oh, peach tree has some blossoms on it. We're clearing and cleaning and doing some stuff, and Bear's been doing such a great job. But there's the peach tree, and uh, he did some trimmings on it. Last year, we didn't have the best of fruits. Um, this year, we're hoping it will be good. I understand every other year it tends to do really well. We still have this old muck and muck that we are going to be taking down, which is part of the reason why all of this was cleared. So this is going to be taken down. This is just a fence that's up so that Luna doesn't get out and into the garden, and the rest of it is a bit of a mess. So there's going to be a um, little bit of a greenhouse right through here. So, and then this is going to be like a little front porch. Uh, where I can sit and have coffee or tea or wine in the evenings and um, it will be wonderful. And then over there will be my um, compost bins and then um, also a little um, potting station which would be really really nice. And yeah, so there's the garden at this moment in time. Next winter or maybe at the end of the summer I intend on painting this little section here, the same color as that dark, like kind of blacky, purpley brown that we have on the house so that it matches. It'll be lovely. Um, and then I might actually paint beautiful poppies and flowers and things like that on there so that I'll have them even in the winter. That's my plan. So anyhow, that's it. That's life here in the Pacific Northwest and the Fancy Garden. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, God, I haven't said this in forever. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, and hit the bell so that you get notifications of when I post stuff. Coming up, probably, no, I talked about the Herb 101. I talked about some other things. I have some ideas uh, to maybe do some videos and we'll get to it. But... Our friend Noah Tempestari is turning 30, the big 3-0.
and I believe that is on the 26th. So on the 25th, we are doing a 12 hour chat on his channel. We just finished the 24 chat and we had some on his channel, some on my channel because we're having difficulties. He was having horrible uh, internet difficulties, but that all got fixed. And so I think on this 12 hour chat, um, it will be from Texas time, 12 to 12. And from Pacific or West Coast time, it's 10 to 10. This Saturday, or Saturday the 26th on Noah Tempest Stars channel. So that's coming up and that should be pretty awesome. I am also thinking of trying to do a giveaway because Miss Thing has some paper products and I think that it might be pretty nice to maybe do some trivia or something so that everybody can be engaged and excited and all that jazz and we're going to figure out some fun stuff to do, okay? So with that, I say farewell. It's getting dark. I'm going to go drink some water and get in the house. Talk to you guys later. Many blessings. Love you. Bye. I'm not done. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't talk about this side of the, of the middle bed at all. Okay. Anyhow, so like carrots, <laughs> carrots are growing right here. I am such an idiot. It's been a long day. I'm sorry. Um, I've got purple green beans growing over there, but so far they haven't done anything. Swiss chard all through here. I've got regular green beans that are just starting to pop up. They're not doing much yet. Then I have got some spinach and I added another row of spinach and all of these little cute babies right here are mixed greens. A beautiful mixed green. And then we have cabbage. I've got three things of cabbage right there and I'm hoping that they do well. They also lasted through the winter. This lasted through the winter. This lasted through the winter. And then the lemon balm, the bay leaf or bay tree, and the parsley all did really well through the winter. Okay, so that's it. So that's really it. I, I promise. All right, and we'll talk to you guys later. And again, many blessings. Bye.